Mr. Umesh Singh Khatia, Ambassador Extraordinary and Preliminary of Singapore to United Arab Emirates, and uh, His Excellency Paul Reis Yuri Vladimirovich, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary uh, of Ukraine to the United Arab Emirates. Members of Diplomatic Corps, President of the companies, representatives of international bodies, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to speak to you this evening to welcome you most cordially at the official opening of Love and Culture Art Exhibition of Kataria Art Collection with partnership of our very own Pegas Art Gallery. This event is a combination of collective efforts which began months ago. From that moment, many institutions and entities, organizations and individuals contribute in one form or another, I would like to take this opportunity to extend my appreciation to His Excellency's diplomatic course, Shital Katari and Kul Shitari Katari family. In recent years, we witnessed a significant increase of concern among peoples of the world towards traditional, cultural, historical feedback of each country. After knowing Shital and her big passion towards art, her art collection truly deserves universal future. We have been inspired to do exhibition and share it with you, dear guests today. The purpose of our exhibition is to bring love and culture through the efforts of Kataria Family Foundation. Truly, the purpose is the moreover, yes, love and culture through over the efforts of Kataria Full Family Foundation and a lot of Chital Kataria own efforts as well. She is a very hardworking lady. Please, I think she is really deserves applause. Big, big journey, sincerely, seven years of hard work, and I'm sure with the great support of her husband. <laughs> Foundation through commission, artist Svetlana Sobik, please applause for Svetlana Sobik as well. <laughs> she's here, she's extremely honest, but she's here. This is the lady. One more applause, please. She puts a lot of, of inputs to express traditions, culture, Ukrainian culture, and treasure for each individual and whole nation into fine piece of, of art. After years, Katari art collection will be displayed in museums. Shatar, uh, Shatal is very modest. She asked me yesterday, don't say name of museum. I think she wants to keep it confidential, but I'm sure it will be one day open and public anyway. So, because I think this collection is deserved to go universal and to have future and to be displayed in many museums like Louvre, London museums, and of course Hermitage, because we're going to do it anyway together. Please applaud for that. As I told, art will be displayed in museums, uh, and we, we shouldn't forget Musée de Seine, which is uh, partners is here from Spain. I think special applause for them. Ajman International Airport is planning to bring culture, more culture to UAE. And I think it's special because they're doing now and working in Ajman Airport, which is very strategic, important project as well. Please applause for them. This famous artist, I'm sure Asobic one day will be the name together with the art and Pablo Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, wow. Wow. Vincent van Gogh, Claudio Monet, Rembrandt, and Henry Matisse. Please applaud. <laughs> we look forward to long-term cultural cooperation activities in UAE and around the world. We wish you enjoy and have a pleasant evening, especially in Valentine's period. Thank you. I wish you for all your families love and happiness, my dear guests. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellencies, 
ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, speaking to you tonight, honorable audience, I feel proud, proud for Ukraine, because this event shows how talented people are. For Ukrainian daughters and sons devoting their lives to the art creating beauty. It is a great honor and pleasure for me to participate in the opening ceremony of the bright Ukrainian artist, Svetlana Asobik, please. Thank you. Let us all give some credit to her outstanding work, uh, her talent and applaud what she has accomplished. Even though I'm not an art critic, I cannot but uh, admire the works. What you do, Svetlana, uh, is amazing. The rich depth, the unique philosophy of your art, the very delicate and true sense of Ukraine makes your work a must-see for everyone taking an interest in art and represent a true soul blessing for every Ukrainian. Thank you very much. <laughs> I want to also express the words of appreciation to Katarina Art Collections and Pegas Art Gallery for all their efforts to make this high event happen. Finding diamond among the ashes is a difficult task, but you did it. I have... So on behalf of the Embassy of Ukraine, I have to commend your active endeavor in uh, popularization of Ukrainian art. Marova, I would also like to wish you and your team every success during your tour to the United States and Europe. I'm sure that you will have the same warm welcome there as you have it here in Dubai. Finally, I would like to wish everyone present here tonight to use their chance to get as much as you can from the spirit and high aesthetic of Svetlana Masovic. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and lovers of art, um, as the ambassador of Singapore to UAE, I'm very, very honoured to be here today at this unique exhibition by Katara Art Collections and Pegas Art Gallery. <coughs> art crosses boundaries and art connects. Today's launch makes this very, very clear, where streams from South Asia, East Africa, East Central Europe, and Central Asia all converge in a key hub of West Asia, Dubai. As the ambassador of a key Southeast Asian hub, with many similarities to Dubai and the UAE, I feel it may not be entirely out of place for me to highlight these fascinating cross currents, quite apart from being friend and I believe someone who admires the spirit of Shital Katare and the Katare Art Holdings. First, the chairperson of Katare Art Collections, Shital. Ancestors hail from a proud and hardy seafaring and trading community in the South Asian subcontinent. She was born in East Africa when it was part of the British Empire. After sojourns in Kenya and London, she has brought her passion for art to Dubai, offering cultural depth and richness to a dynamic trading emporium. I think we can all agree, ladies and gentlemen, excellencies and friends, that she is among a rare breed of humanistic and cosmopolitan individuals who bring that value, real value, wherever she resides. Second, the wonderfully talented Ukrainian artist Svetlana Osvik lives in Dubai, but she comes from Poltava, a city in central Ukraine known as an important hub for science and education, but also the region of origin of the world-famous 19th century <coughs> master of the short story, Nikolai Gogol. A graduate of the Lviv Academy of Arts, Ms. Osobik's works have found inspiration, I think, partly in Dubai's multicultural setting, 
but remain deeply rooted and anchored in Ukraine's powerful history. And there's no better example of how she takes inspiration from Dubai, from where we are today, and Maidan, at the cusp of a lot of horse racing, and from global currents. The fact that this is the year of the horse in Luna Chinese New Year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, third, the CEO of Pegas Art Gallery, Dr. Dinara Rakimbeva, hails originally from Central Asia, but a citizen of the world. I understand that her doctorate focused on proverbs across foreign languages from Russian, Uzbek, wow. English, Turkmen, Karakalpak, yes, Turkish and Persian. <laughs> so this is another example of cross-cultural <laughs> achievement. <laughs> so we have so much talent here, all three ladies. Four. <laughs> That's my mother. <laughs> Another very talented lady. <laughs> Fourth, and I, she might buy some of the art today. <laughs> Not for sale. <laughs> In Dubai, everything is for sale. <laughs> if you have the right price. Fourth, and finally, all of us here today, as a distinguished audience, I think are visible reminders of the different cultures, traditions, and influences that hold our shrinking globe together. And the day after Valentine's Day, as His Excellency has made clear, today's theme of love and culture is a perfect statement of what Kataria Art Gallery, Pegas Art Collection, and Ms. Osobik seek to do, bringing us all together to celebrate enduring and universal values to support our common humanity and <coughs> hopefully look beyond our differences. Thank you very much. wait a little bit more before we see the final works. I want to say good evening to your excellencies, distinguished guests, and all you ladies and gentlemen. May I welcome you and say thank you to His Excellency Umej Singh Bhatia, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of Ukraine, of Singapore, my apologies, to the United Arab Emirates and His Excellency Polaris Yuri Vladimirovich, Ambassador Extraordinary Plenipotentiary of Ukraine now to the United Arab Emirates. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being, officiating our evening and <coughs> unveiling our paintings tonight. This exhibition, Love and Culture, is for two reasons. Love is because today what you will see is from the heart. What Svetlana has produced is truly really from the heart. Culture is because this is the very first time all three collections have inaugurated from Dubai and are going to be unveiled. Dubai being a magnificent city has brought all cultures together. So what a better place to have this than Dubai. I would like to thank Dr. Dinara, now a very dear friend. It is my collaboration with her and her team at Pegas Art Gallery and her ingenious team, I must say. It is with all of them today, this evening, that I am able to have this exhibition at the Medan. And what a wonderful venue. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is the very first of the planned global exhibitions and I hope that we can take this to different cities, different uh, venues around the world so that all of them can share this. Tonight I will not be doing justice if I did not say thank you to Raghu Kataria, my husband. <laughs> has he given me a platform, but he's been tremendous support and my inspiration. And that has allowed me to have my passion in the arena of art. It is entirely his support. Yeah, yeah. 
Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Svetlana Osipek, great Ukrainian artist. She's been introduced to you before, but I have the honor and privilege, and I want to introduce. Hey, <laughs> She, like most artists, have either been ahead of times or behind times. Tonight, I leave that judgment on you. Yeah, yeah. You're on time. Okay. <laughs> Pablo Picasso, a great artist himself, once remarked that there are two kinds of artists. The first, who make the sun look like a yellow spot. The other kind, they make a yellow spot look like the sun. Wow. Svetlana is one of those geniuses who certainly belong to the letter. <laughs> My journey with Svetlana began in 2005 and has now reached a milestone stage. And I'm truly pleased to have you all here and give you the opportunity to share these paintings with you this evening for you to view from our Kataria Family Foundation. I hope that you enjoy viewing them as much as we do. Before we continue, uh, just a little bit about our collections so that you get a brief idea. We have three collections. The very first one is Nostalgia. Now, who isn't fascinated by lost civilizations? I think all of you are. For me, it's definitely a fascination, and it is this fascination that led me to commission the first collection, Nostalgia. It is a series of 14 artworks, and it depicts the stories behind ancient culture and civilizations. Sadly, today these ancient cultures and civilizations are no longer there in their true spirit. They have all been eluded. To name a few, the Egyptian, the Chinese, the Central American, the Celtic, they've all eluded. But Svetlana and our work together, we've managed to capture them and bring them alive on these canvases for you. I must admit, and you will for yourself when you see it, that it is the very outcome of these paintings that has given me inspiration to move into the art of world even deeper. I want to share these with all art connoisseurs and art lovers. And today is the first evening. In my journey, I've also appreciated nature and beauty. And that led me to commission the second collection, Jewels of Paradise. <coughs> like the name suggests, when you see the second collection, it is absolutely like the jewels. The flora and fauna in their garden, when you walk through them, they're beautifully perched on their flora, just like jewels. The third collection is Fables of My Land. We all have childhood uh, fables, fantasies, stories that we've heard. And Svetlana has beautifully put these on canvases on the third collection. They reveal the true spirit of Ukraine. Now, since I treat all my paintings like a prince, which means I let them speak, I think it is time to request your excellencies to lead us so that we can all view and share the masterpieces. Please. <laughs>
Body is the sand of wind Mellifluous melange of your skin and mine Thank you.